What is up guys, Fredo one here and welcome to my review for Black Clover episode 1. Let's do this. Okay guys, I'm going to say this right here, right now. That was fucking awesome. So basically, we got up to the point where Asta gets his grimoire. The five leaf grimoire. As we know, for those of you who are new to Black Clover, the first three leaves are faith, faith, love, and hope. Within the fourth leaf, which is what you know received, is good luck. Within the fifth is demon. All right, so that will become quite relevant later on in the story. But overall, guys, the art, the animation was solid. Like even the non-canon scenes, and there were quite a few in here. It just flowed. It flowed really, really nicely. Like the entire thing, the music, the voice acting, everything was very, very fucking solid. Like, I wasn't a big fan of Asta's voice at first, but it kind of grew me. I loved Juno's voice. I think Juno's voice is perfect. I loved Juno's voice. I think Asta's voice is kind of grown on me. Uh, so we got pretty much, I'd say, the first volume. So that's the first three chapters at least uh, in one episode. Uh, I'm not sure how many episodes this series is going to be, but overall, guys, like, damn, this was good. This was getting me hyped. Like, seriously fucking hot. Like, I've been waiting for this for a very, very long time. As you guys know, Black Clover is a staple in my, on my YouTube channel, especially the manga. And some of the stuff that has gone down within the manga has been epic. Uh, but seeing it now, finally... Hearing them talk, seeing them move, uh, you know, everything, the art, the animation, everything was really, really solid, you know, and, like, the characters, it just kind of, they vibe with me, like, I know that sounds weird, but for someone who's such a big fan of Black Clover, you know, I'm really happy to see, that's why I'm kind of all giddy and shit, but, uh, yeah, so basically, it starts off with, uh, kind of a little story, uh, basically of how Yuno and Asta have came to the orphanage. We don't actually see that in the manga. The manga basically starts right off the back uh, with uh, the magic, the magic, the first magic emperor fighting some giant beast, and then it goes into straight away to where Asta and Yuno are basically having that fight. Uh, Yuno basically ignoring him using his wind magic, and yada yada yada, and Asta basically proposing to the sister. Um, but we did get a lot of other non-canon scenes within the series, like the scene with where the sister approaches you and says, look, why can't you just be nicer to him? Yeah, you've been quite mean to him. Why can't you be nicer like you used to? And, you know, they saying, I can't. Yeah. So there's a lot of different little scenes, even uh, with the two uh, nobles that were kind of being cocky, even at the end when they went to take on, uh, you know, with these, uh, basically, these four grimoire. We don't really see that either. We pretty much have um, the thief kind of coming out of nowhere and basically before the two nobles attack, you know, the thief comes out and deals with them and then yada yada yada. And then obviously he ties up, you know, Asta then comes along, makes his grand entrance and completely fucks it up in typical Asta form. And then we basically, the episode end with Asta finally receiving his grimoire, the five leaf, fly leaf clover, and receiving his sword. And dude, the right face on Asta at the end there was brilliant. The music when he got his grimoire, dude, a lot of stuff was just very much on point. I hope he can continue to be this good, because if it does, dude, we're going to be in for one hell of a good series but anyway guys overall for this episode the music was the bomb i love the music the art the animation solid uh 
Did we get an intro? Uh, oh wait, no, we did get an intro and it was pretty solid. I like the intro. The outro, not too bad. Didn't mind that. Um, but yeah, just in general, guys, I'm hyped. I loved it. I thought it was absolutely awesome. A great way to start the series. Um, like I said, the non-canon uh, scenes were solid. The episode felt like it flowed very naturally and very nicely. The art, the animation was solid. A couple of little iffy bits, but nothing terrible. Um, so yeah, that's why this week, guys, for Black Clover, episode one, I'm going to give it four stars. Damn good episode. Great music. You know, I lost the, basically a point just because we did get through a lot of content. You know, basically a volume of manga. Um, very, very quickly, uh, just under a volume of manga. Uh, we got through a lot of content very quickly, but at the same time, it was good because it kind of just flowed nicely. Um, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. As always, let me know in that comment section below what did you guys think? Did you guys like it? Didn't like it? All that kind of jazz. And as always, guys, I'm Free No One. You guys are awesome. And I'll catch you guys with another review. Peace. Oh, Run away! Run away! Oh, Run away! Oh,